Good morning, everyone. Today is known as Yom Ahava, the day of love. Some people refer to it as the Jewish Valentine's Day. Because in Talmudic times, in ancient Israel, this was the day of matchmaking. And the daughters of Israel and the young men would go out into the vineyards and choose brides and grooms to get married. And there was a lot of joy and festivity and marriages on this day. And in modern times, it's considered a holiday as well, and a day to think about your marriage, but also to think about helping others find their soulmates. Now, in Hebrew, the word ahava, which means love, is not like in the romantic movies or uh, novels, because the word ahava, the root of the word ahava is hav, which means to give. The Jewish definition of marriage and love is giving to the other. You know, when you read the Ketubah, the marriage contract, it doesn't talk about feelings, it doesn't talk about love. What it talks about is obligations and responsibilities. Because what Judaism is teaching us is that you grow in your love, not by receiving, but more than by receiving, by giving to the other. That's why we love our children so much, because we give so much to them more than they could ever love us because we give them much more than they can possibly give to us. You know the story about the king's fisherman who was out fishing and he caught a beautiful pike fish and he said, oh, I'm so happy to catch this fish. The king is going to love this fish. When he comes back to the palace, he takes it into the kitchen and the chefs say, wow, this is the most beautiful pike. The king is going to love this fish. And the pike was so happy because he figured if the king loves me, I'm going to live a long life. Well, when the chefs took out their knives and lifted it to kill and cut the fish up, they realized that the king doesn't love the fish. The king loves eating the fish and loves how the fish makes him feel. Sometimes we think of love as, I love you, meaning I love the way you make me feel when I'm with you as opposed to, I love you, and therefore I want to give to you. I want to care for you. I want to make you feel good in my presence. There is a story that Rabbi Levi Yitzvah Kabarditchev once said, that I learned the meaning of love for a fellow from two drunk people. He said two drunkens were walking they were both drinking and drunk, and one said to the other, I love you. The other one said, if you love me, tell me what hurts me, what pains me. And he said, I don't know. He said, well, then you don't really love me. What Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Radice was saying was, what the drunk was saying to the other one is, if you love me, do you know what pains me? Do you know why I drink in the first place? What hurt, what pain am I trying to numb by drinking and getting drunk. And when the other drunk said, I don't know, he said, well, obviously you don't really love me. You just love drinking with me because it's fun. It's good to have a drinking partner, but you don't really love me because if you love me, you would know what drives me to drink in the first place. In our society, we say, I love your car. I love my house. I love my boat. I love my suit. I love my jewelry. We throw around the word love so easily, but in all of these cases, we don't love those objects. We love having them and possessing them. True love doesn't mean possessing someone or having that person make you happy, but it means to have, as the root of the word ahava says, to give care and support and act lovingly towards others. Have a beautiful Yom Ahava a beautiful day of love and matchmaking. And may everyone seeking their soulmate be blessed to find their soulmate very soon.